We all know that losses can make or break someone. How about I tell you that it's motivated an individual and a team for the 2022 season. And that person and team is Connell Mater in the Alabama A&M Bulldogs. That 61 to 15 loss is something that they've been thinking about all season long. And I'll chime in. Today's show is brought to you by Booked and Busy Talent. Booked and Busy Talent is a full talent agency that doesn't chase deals, they create deals. Clients receive counsel from strategic management consultants who have worked at Google for former President Barack Obama and in the healthcare industry. Their cross-industry business knowledge has helped them secure groundbreaking deals for their clients, such as first-team all-SEC gymnast Darian Goburn the undisputed coin of the four, and Jackson State University two-sport human highlight reel, Malachi Wyman. What are you waiting for? Get booked and busy today by contacting them at bookedandbusytalent at gmail.com to set up a future client consultation to get your NIL deals rolling. Uh, I met him out in the field and shook his hand and he said he looked forward to playing next year, so I do too. That's good news here. That means he is going to stay. If new coach at a new school, what do you think in giving him some advice if he would have called you, what would you have told him that he had to be careful with? Uh, he got assistant coaches. He got NFL coaches. He, he talked about how good his staff is and how good they are. So I'm sure that he can lean on those guys for advice. Um, you know, so he, he didn't call me, but, you know, he, he's the enemy. He's the enemy, you know. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to give him any advice. <laughs> you told him to practice at 6 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, I told him, uh, recruit some more five stars. <laughs> you talking about all the four or five stars you recruited. You're not the only one to recruit five stars and four stars. We do, too. Let's go. We got, we got guys coming back next year, too. Yeah, everybody waiting for next year. Well, we're playing right now, okay? Everybody like their team at the beginning of the year. Right. So, uh, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, so – I'm, I'm going to have some different players out there next year, too. I'm not going to play with the exact same team. <laughs> What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deserve to need. Peace and blessings, peace and joy to everyone that is listening. Make sure to like and share this video. Losses. Like I said earlier, losses can make or break your future. Losses can be a, a negative at times, but if you don't take it to heart and you use it as motivation and a drive to do even better going forward, it can be a blessing in disguise. And everything that Alabama A&M has done since that 61 to 15 loss has been very impressive. Recruiting at a high level, getting transfers, now, they don't have that many high school players, uh, but they have, as a team, accumulated players who I believe is going to step up and do their thing. Like Marquise Beeson, he played at Illinois, played in the Big Ten. He was a four-star out of high school, uh, came out of Duncanville. Look to him to sure up the secondary along with Kentucky transfer Moses Douglas, played in the SEC. We'll share up that back end. And don't forget Charles Bell from Marshall, who's a respected safety. So you added that, you added offensive line, 300 plus pounders from Arkansas, Ray Curry Jr. I'm not going to list all the names, but you get my drift. And I add on top of that, an uh, offensive weapon in Darren Turner. He was a four-star out of high school, went to, went to Arkansas, did his thing, now coming home. 
when I say home, the HBCU home, and, and coming to play for Alabama A&M. Again, if you look at Alabama A&M's recruiting strategy, it's pretty obvious. Stack up on DBs, but DBs who are cover corners with size. That's what they did. They shared that up. Now, I want to see what the defensive strategy is going to be. But if it's a lot better than last season, then that's a plus already. And speaking of last season, the offensive line position being rectified is so important for Alabama a and Akil Glass was sacked so many times. Many times I was like, just like shocked. Not by a kill glass, but shot that any quarterback can just find a way to make plays being under duress like that. And that just shows you how good a kill glass was for Alabama a That he got the ball out pre- pretty quickly. Even in the game with Jackson State, he didn't throw any picks. But he was sacked a lot. And that made a difference. Whoever is going to be the quarterback at Alabama a and they got to show a level of maturity. And now I see why they acquired Jaron Williams from UCF. Scratch that, USF. Uh, he's a transfer from USF. He's played in the FBS, has experience. Veteran guy that you need in your locker room. Now they have other quarterbacks that are going to compete, uh, just like Quincy Casey and also by the name of, if I said his name wrong, hope I don't say it, Xavier Lankford. Xavier Lankford was a sophomore last year, uh, played in a couple games, but really didn't do much. So I'm, I'm excited to see what that competition looks like. But this is what motivation does. Motivation can create the best out of you. And I'm sure... Connell Maynard was thinking about for months and he had to and you would be doing the same thing if you were a coach and you lost that bad and what it's done so far is create a recruiting class of epic proportions this is a talented class the only thing it was missing was a lot of high schoolers so they're clearly focused on veteran players and that's their prerogative They're trying to win the swag. They're not trying to be second place. They're not trying to uh, be a part of some participation trophy. Will it be easy? No. Because Grambling has reloaded. Jackson State is a lot better than last season talent-wise. It's not even close. Speaking of Jackson State, they're faster, they're stronger, and they have more experience. They got more players coming back. I know they lost James Houston, but Aubrey Miller came back. They got DeJon Nugget Warren on one side and the other side, Travis Hunter, who is compared to Charles Woodson. And I watched the interview where Coach Prime was talking about how Travis Hunter has been doing in offseason workouts. Just been amazed with his work ethic already. So that tells you something. That's, they're going to be very tough to throw at. But I love what's going on in the SWAC. Competition has raised its level. And that's what I wanted to see. My dream next season, and I know people keep telling me, oh, DJ, it could never happen. Never say never. My dream for next season is to have four teams, I'll repeat, four teams to be ranked in the top 25. I don't care where it's at in the top 25. Four teams ranked in the top 25. Will it happen? Who knows? But Coach Prime has motivated Connell Maynard. Now, to be fair, Connell Maynard started at first by talking to uh, Jack to Coach Prime. And Coach Prime had to be silent for months just to prove a point until that game was over. But I think Connell Maynard has learned from that. And we all know he's an excellent offensive mind. Some would say the best, not even some, a lot would say the best in HBCUs and offensive play caller. He's that good. 
Now he has a team that he can work with. Man, this is going to be fun. This is Raw Troop Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Peace and love to everybody, and I'm out.